so in this video I'm going to show you how uh, we can use uh, Synopsys VCS uh, for design verification uh, so this is uh, the tool within Synopsys we will be using primarily for verifying our, our uh, RTL design so uh, this is a very simple um, circuit that we want to simulate so it's basically an AND gate uh, to input AND gate and the output of this AND gate is actually registered in the flip-flop and the flip-flop has active uh, low reset so this is the circuit that we want to simulate uh, so let me just quickly go to uh, I've, just, I've logged on to the server and uh, here I am let me just clear it first and this is my current directory so uh, my home directory so I would request all of you to as you create a, a db underscore training folder in your home directory mm, and what is your home directory look like so it's lab zero demo and uh, work directory so typically for all your uh, labs uh, you should have uh, these folders uh, let's just give me lab zero uh, and then subsequently you will have lab one and so on and so forth so for now let's just focus on lab zero dot demo so what should the folder look like um, so inside the folder you will have for each lab you will have different tasks right so task one task two task three and within task one let's say you have further two folders design and uh, test bench so what do we have inside the design so all your rtl design files will be inside the design so let's say in this case it is and underscore edge that uh, the design we are interested in so let me just tell you what is this design uh, so you can see over here and underscore edge so I've uh, written uh, the port list clock reset a b out and then I'm just using a combination block always underscore com to actually do the and gate and this is a procedure block I would request all of you to actually start using um this uh, combinational always block uh, to actually uh, generate a combination circuit and for like uh, sequential block use always underscore ff this is just to give you a restrict that whether it is generating a sequential circuit or not otherwise it will give you a warning and likewise if it is generating a combination circuit or not so if not reset out is zero and else out is equal to temp so this is just very the basic um, design and then um, likewise for the design I just come out of the design so you will have the test bench and within the test bench um, just naming it top top dot sv and uh, here you can see uh, that what I have done is these are this is just wants to refresh you so you can see here um, and just generating the signals and instantiating an and underscore edge module dot static means that the signals and the port are almost same I've generated a clock with the time period of 10 and then um, my A and B are initially 1 my reset is uh, high and then put it pull it low and then high again and then I'm actually applying the stimulus this reset is asynchronous so just apply it over here at uh, time unit 3 and then uh, my inputs are actually uh, Appl I'm applying the inputs at uh, nag edge of clock and the stimulus so that uh, they can be read at the pause edge of the clock okay and uh, so I've just generated three stimulus uh, one one by default then one zero and then again one one okay so and then I'm putting it uh, into the monitor so the moment my NEF inputs are changing uh, my output will change in the monitor and then likewise I'm actually dumping the variables in a, a signal dot VCD file so this is uh, a very simple test bench so now I'm going to show you how you're going to run it um, so I've just come back here in the DV training so just go to work and then inside the work um, basically we will be uh, sort of just write down the command myself so you will using VCS okay uh, minus full 64 is 64 bit and then minus s verilog so just telling it to system verilog then first of all I have to give it um, to the go to the uh, folder so labs 0 demo 
in the task one test bench and then top dot sv and likewise uh, for the second just go back lab 0 demo task 1 so in this case it will be design and within design it is end or reg and then you have to specify minus v sim v so vcs will run and then i have to type this command sim v dot slash sim v okay so you can see uh, you see the result over here at time is equal to zero uh, my reset is equal to one so a is equal to one b is equal to one out is equal to x okay so this at time zero at time is equal to three my reset is equal to put low so my output will be low at as well and then at time is equal to five um, a is equal to one b is equal to one so my clock a positive edge comes so a is equal to one b is equal to one and is out is equal to one and then I'm applying the stimulus at the negative of clock. So A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, but my output will still be high um, because the positive edge did not come. So at 15, the next positive edge of clock, so I will get a 0 here. And then I apply another stimulus, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, and the next positive edge of clock at 25, I will get out is equal to 1. Okay, so this is uh, how you are going to test your uh, input and output. So if you want to so you can see here that um, the signals dot vcd uh, file has been generated so you can really use to check uh, GTK using the gtk wave signals dot vcd so this is a gtk wave here and then top you can select the signals and then you can append it over here and then you can see over here the waveform so you see over here um, you can just take clock up I can take reset up and then I can see over here that when reset is equal to low my output is active low my output is zero and then clock is equal to high and A or B are high my output is one so in this way I think you can um, you can visualize the signals on the GTK wave as well but we will prefer that you stick to um, the uh, console over here to just check the signal and uh, by the way in between uh, we will be writing automated uh, checkers as well so it will be passing the test as soon as there will be a failure uh, it will just only report the failure cases so I hope uh, you will be able to use mm, uh, you can just watch it out to figure it out how you can um, use vcs to simulate your design so i think this is you just have to figure out the directory structure and just note down these two commands to run the vcs yeah if you have any need any help uh, you can just reach out thanks bye